All right, it's Mickey here. So I got my press all, all ready here, but uh, I, I'm gonna do a little trick, okay? So one thing you could do is heat the jack shaft up. I kinda don't really wanna do that. I don't wanna mess up the finish or whatever, you know? Um, uh, so we'll do the next best thing is we'll freeze the bearings is what we're gonna do, all right? So I'm gonna go throw these, the three bearings. So you need, so this is what you're gonna need to, to reassemble the jack shaft, okay? After you take the old bearings out, you need the three bearings and the spacer in the center, okay? Um, and it's pretty obvious which side has the two bearings and which side is the one bearing, okay? There'll be a deeper, deeper hole that you gotta put it in, okay? So I'm gonna go put these in the freezer and we'll come back in 15 minutes, all right? Well, in the meantime, I will go get some grease and put a little bit of grease on the lip here. And hopefully that'll it'll get the bearings to seat in there better. All right, so we'll just do one at a time. All right, so all right, here we go. Or one thing we could do is put the whole thing in the oven too. I didn't think about that. That would be a good idea also, instead of using a torch. Um, but uh, that's okay. We'll we'll try the freezing bearings trick real quick. All right, here we go. Okay, into the freezer they go. All right, 15 minutes. Okay, so uh, while the the bearings are in the freezer, I'm gonna just put a dab, a teeny tiny coat of grease in the hole, okay? Just so it slides in better. Okay, just a little dab. I've, uh, I've, I was practicing to install the bearings, so hopefully I can put on a good show for you guys. <laughs> All right. So I think we're gonna start, I don't think it matters what side you could do first, but absolutely do not forget to put this in when you put one side in, all right? So I'm gonna start with the double bearing side first, okay? We're gonna put the double bearing side first in, okay? All right, let's make out. See you in 15 minutes. Okay, I didn't mention it before, but it takes a 17 millimeter socket to push it in, okay? Um, I'm gonna try, I've already practiced with the other one. So this is the one I froze, it's not coming in flat, so. Hopefully, hopefully it'll go in straight. <laughs> uh, it did, I, I, so make sure you check different uh, 17 millimeters because some of them are a little bit different, all right? I'm trying to use the opened end too, so. Okay, here we go. All right, it's going in easily. Using it seems to have helped. Just drive that puppy in there till it stops. No, you'll feel it when it stops. <laughs> okay, that's one. Now we'll go get another bearing. Okay, the second one. Same story. Yeah, it does not want to slip in there, okay? So I think if you heat it up in the oven, it might just slip in there, but yeah. That would be my suggestion. Put it in the oven and heat it up to like, like 250 degrees or something, and it should just slip right in. But uh, I'm gonna use the press since we got one. But I froze it so it would come in more easily. Okay. There you go. I've got one side in. All right, that's two bearings in that one. Let me just drop this one. All right, so, uh, so now, make sure you put this spacer back in, okay? Do not forget that. Try to get it centered too, but it's okay, it's not a big deal. Okay, so 17, make sure it fits in there. Uh, when, when you're putting this guy on, you wanna make sure you press on the outer race, not the inner race, because you can damage the bearing, okay? 
So uh, this a 17 millimeter, uh, and what I'm using is a 17 millimeter um, impact socket. Okay, I tried a regular socket, and it was, it, it's actually thinner, and it was like not seating very well. Okay, so the 17 deep uh, impact socket works good. All right, I'm gonna go grab another bearing. All right, so remember, after you put the two bearings on one side, or you put one side in, put the uh, put that spacer in there so you don't forget. Okay, it's like a it's like a wheel hub, pretty much, you know. Okay, I got the third bearing. Okay, this is the side that's kind of messed up, but it just it actually just slides in a little bit. Okay. You can just put it flat. You don't have to worry about it messing up up the bottom because there's nothing to mess up down there. The third bearing one more to go okay the fourth bearing same story try it try to get it in there straight there we go. oh wow I can actually press this one in it's probably because I messed that I messed that side up Why? The other one came in all nice. What the heck? For whatever reason, that one wanted to come in crooked. So, so if, you, if you can adjust it a little bit, it'd be good. Okay, I think that's good. Uh, one thing you might want to do is kind of measure the depth of the bearing. Okay, because if it may be in there crooked, it doesn't look like it though. Okay, so uh, I think that's it. Uh, what you could do is uh, is get a caliper and measure around the depth of the bearing to make sure it's all the same. That way you know it's in there flat. We can do that right. Okay, so I take a measurement here. That's, uh, it's three millimeters, all right? So it should be three millimeters all the way around. I'm gonna open it up, down, three millimeters. I'm gonna go here on the corner. Three millimeters, okay? I know you guys can't see it. It's probably all blurry, but. I'll just read it off to you. Okay. Three millimeters, yep. Okay, so I know that's in there flush, okay? It's flat, all right? And then, so we can do the same thing on this side. This side is six millimeters. Okay, I'm gonna go to the other side and measure the depth again. This one's a little more actually. It's like six and a half, what the heck? I was expecting the other side to be crooked, but this side, this is six. Okay, that's six. That's a little more than six. Okay, well, I think it kind of, I think when you press, press the other one in, it kind of, it might push the other one out a little bit. So you gotta be a little careful. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, uh. Um, just move that spacer so it's like in the center and then move the the axle through it all right so I'm gonna get a screwdriver and try to try to get that spacer in the center so we can get this the uh, the swing arm axle through it all right I'm gonna try to 
drive that in there. <laughs> it's not going in. Maybe. Okay, yeah, just keep on adjusting it until it goes in. So I can see it, there's a little there's a little lip hanging off of this side, so I'm gonna pry it this way, okay? Hopefully it doesn't mess the bearing up. Okay, that looks, that looks good. I might be able to just drive it in now. Nope. <laughs> Keep on going. See if I can just get a hammer and rub it in now. I got it in all the way. Let's make sure that goes all the way. Okay, and then it spins nicely. Nice and smooth and quiet. I, dude, I think this axle is bent. Yeah, this think this axle is bent because like, see, right over here, <laughs> it hangs up right here. I think I need to get a new swing arm axle. Okay, well, that's cool. Okay, yeah, just make sure that's that spacer is lined up so like when you put it back on the bike you're not going to have problems putting the axle back in, okay? All right, so that's uh that's this one done. So uh let's go do the the three bearing one. I have to go put the another the, another set in the bear, in the in the freezer. So that way um that way when this happens again, I could I have a fresh jack shaft ready to be installed on, okay? All right, let's make up. Okay, so another thing, uh, one thing I want to point about about these Timken bearings, the seals have nothing on them, okay? So the other one says NBK 6002RS, okay? Uh, the Timken ones don't say anything on it, okay? All right. Um, it does say Timken right here on the inner race. Timken, and I think it has the bearing number, 6002RS, and something else that I can't make out. It says F. 15-JT, I think. It's very small, dude. But, but it says Timken and 6002RS. So that's how you know what brand of bearing this is. They they engrave it onto the inner race, okay? Instead of putting it on the seal. The seal has nothing on it, okay? Cool. Should Hopefully it's a better bearing than the what comes in this one already. <laughs> All right, here's we go. So, okay, yeah. So before we uh, install the three bearing one, I just want to point out that uh, don't mix the spacers up <laughs> because the spacer is probably longer on the three bearing uh, jack shaft, okay? Um, I, I I know, I was kind of in a hurry. What we should have done is we should have done some measurements, how deep it was. But I, I guarantee you, man, this one is designed for one bearing, all right? This is the one that, this is from a Sauron MX, okay? So probably a lot of the newer, the Sauron X bikes probably have a four bearing jack shaft. So they did, they did, uh, they did uh, update the design. I'm not going to lie. I, I was saying, why can't they put four bearings in this thing? It'll be stronger, you know? Now, I'm not going to lie. The three bearing is easier to uh, install the bearing. Uh, uninstall the bearings is easier on the three bearing model, okay? That's what I'm going to say. Because, like, you don't have to worry about it getting going out crooked as much, you know? Um, yeah, it's it's tough. The, the two bear Trying to get two bearings out is more difficult than one. That's what I'm going to say. Um, yeah, all I'm saying is, yeah, this is not a very good design, man. There's just like, too many parts moving. But I'm hoping if you put better quality bearings, it'll last longer. We'll find out. <laughs> I'll let you guys know, man, because the one, the four bearing one, didn't last very long. Okay. Uh, in fact, I probably, I think it probably lasted less than this one. But like I said, I put my bike through a lot of extreme use. Okay, so that 
there is that okay i'm sure if you have a stock sore on you know with stock power levels and stuff probably it'll be okay you know i think it's those hard launches that is killing it you know it's a lot of stress on the drivetrain all right um yeah so let's go install the next one okay here we go we're gonna go do the uh we're gonna install the double bearing side first I don't think it really matters, honestly, but I think I feel like I will want to start from the double bearing side. Okay. Try to get it in there straight if you can. If it doesn't, try to try to get it at a different angle so it does go in straight. Okay. There we go. to the right, this bottom part a little bit. There we go. Yeah, it's hung up, see? Okay, press it until it stops. Okay. That's one bearing. Go get the next Third one. bearing. Get it in there flat, guys. Be difficult. Okay. One side done. Do not forget to put your spacer in. Okay. Make sure you put the right spacer in if you have a, a three and four bearing one. So definitely the uh, the three bearing one will have a shorter one, okay? It looked different too. Okay, try to, try to center it as best as you can. Okay, I'm gonna go get the, the last bearing. Okay, fourth bearing. Uh, the third bearing, I mean. <laughs> It only has three. Boy, the um, this side is a lot easier. This is the primary drive side, I think. I was able to just push that one in. So I don't know. Maybe freezing it helped. The single side is the single bearing side is much much easier. To That's it. We're done. Uh, and then just make sure you make sure this is thing is in here flat or straight. Okay, go get your axle. This one's a lot easier than the other one. What the heck? <laughs> what the, what? Okay, yeah, there it is. It's in there already. Um, yeah, let me just double check that these are in here all the way. Seem kind of loose. <laughs> That's all I was say. Okay. Remember, it's a 20 ton press. It's pretty strong. All right, and then all you got to do, make sure everything lines up again. All right, there you go. Spin it around. Make sure it's smooth. It is very smooth. All right, I think this is bent. I might have to buy a new one of these. It does not go in straight, guys. <laughs> There's a little resistance on it right here, right here. See, it gets hung up right here. Like, oh, I think this is bent, man. This, that very well, 
that very well may be why my uh, my bearings are going bad. This thing is bent, so I have to go buy a new one. So, hate to say it. It's actually not too hard to replace that though. Um, if you just want to take the the this out, you, all you have to do is take it out and put the new one in. All right. Okay. So there you go. Um, so it, so in this video, uh, in this last video, I showed you how to install uh, the bearings. So, so the bearings in the uh, Soran jack shaft. I found out that there's two different jack shafts, okay? There is a three bearing model and a two bearing model. And the way the way you know is one, one, it says sword EM01 on the Soron one, okay? The the my original one, okay, the three bearing. The the four bearing style has no markings on it at all. Okay, it doesn't say Soron on it like this one, okay? And uh and there's a little hump right here, okay. See this one does not have a hump. Uh this side. Okay. There's a hump on this side right here, so that, so it's to accommodate the extra bearing. Okay, so, so there you go. Um, I did not know this had, had four bearings in it until I took them out. I was like, I'm counting the bearings. There's four of them. I'm like, uh, okay, <laughs> all right. So, so, so make sure uh, if you're gonna replace the bearings in your jack shaft, you know what kind of jack shaft you have. Okay, if you have the one with the with the hump here, um, that's a four bearing. If you have the one that's just straight, you have a three bearing, okay? So I have now I have fresh bearings in both of these. So when one goes bad, I just swoop, swap it out with the other one, okay? Um, and I won't lie, this one did last me quite a while. So I, you know, I think it's the quality of the bearing that you know makes a difference. But but yeah, having an extra bearing in there would you know definitely would add some redundancy. You know, at least you don't we won't know it's not going to fall apart. You know, on <laughs> you. That's the that's the thing I, I feared the most. Okay, okay, so yeah. There you go. That's how you install uh, new bearings, the the 6000-2RS bearings, into your Soran jack shaft. I will have the 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 Amazon link to the Timken bearings that I installed in this. Okay, let's hope these Timken bearings are better than the ones that were in the Soran ones. Okay, so they it look pretty. It looks the same, but you know. Maybe it's better. Who knows? <laughs> All right. Hope you guys learned something. Hope that was informative and entertaining. Thank you for watching. Hades and Mig out. Keep them Sorans on the road. <laughs> or in the trails. By the way, I'm going to put the four bearing one back in, okay? <laughs> okay? All right, here we go. All right, so for future reference, all right? Uh, the, the, the depth of the bearings inside the jack shaft on, on this side, okay? The side with the lip, I think this is the... This is the primary drive side, I think, okay? Um, is six millimeters, okay? I just checked it on both these. They're both six millimeters, and you want to make sure you check in multiple places to so make sure it's flush, okay? And then the uh, the other one is three millimeters, okay? So this side is three millimeters. The one, I think, is the uh, the counter sprocket, okay? The counter sprocket side. All right, there you go. Um, I will have a separate video on the seal, okay? Um, I will... Uh, I will install the seal. Uh, I didn't get it today. I will have a different video on the seal. Okay, so check that one out. I will put a link at the end of this video to that. All right, if you want to learn how to take the jack shaft out of the bike, I will put a link to that um, at the end of this video as well. Okay, all right. Okay, cleaning up here. Also, so I wanted to point out, like, yeah, you know, um, I don't even know how many hours I put on this. You could probably, you could probably change the jack shaft bearings out in like an hour maybe two because you still got to take the bike apart literally it took me like 15 minutes to take this bike apart and i'm i am freaking a pro at it taking it apart takes less time than putting it back together though because you got to torque everything on the way back okay but all i'm going to say is uh if you if you don't have a, to a 20 ton press um i would just buy the jack shaft okay um i as of this video i checked the luna cycle website and they do have jack shafts in stock finally finally okay they're $45. Buy yourself an extra one. $45. Not bad. Um, the bearings, it's the bearings for four bearings was $25. All right. That's already half the price. And you get another jack shaft. So uh, I would suggest, yeah, have an extra jack shaft lying around just in case this happens. And then, yeah, you can swap it out. Like, that's what I hate about the Soron, man. The parts break. You need spare parts. It's hard to find them. So have spare parts on hand is what I want to say. Okay. Um, Another thing I'm gonna mention is uh, if you do not have a press, you could probably use a vise and a hammer, okay, to get them out. Um, the double bearing one, the double bearing ones are tough to get out, okay. I'm, 
that's the first time I work with something with a double bearing and it's a pain in the ass, okay? I don't have a puller that can pull those bearings out is the problem, okay? I tried to use the puller at the beginning of the, uh, at the, on the first video and I, it didn't work. I didn't, I didn't have one that was small enough. The little, the little claw, it was, it wasn't small enough to fit in the bearing. So that only works for bigger bearings. Okay. Um, maybe you got a smaller one that will work. So I would use that. So if you could use a blind hole bearing puller, um, that'll work. Um, now the press, it, it, the press is definitely the tool that you want to use. Okay. It made it really easy actually. <laughs> um, it, Installing the bearings was easier than uninstalling them, I'll tell you that, because you have to make sure all everything lines up and you're using the right tools. Installing them, all you need is a 17 millimeter socket. <laughs> That's all I used, okay? And then you just sits flat on this part because there's nothing to, to block it, okay? Um, but but on the way out, when you take them out, you have to you have to have a place for them to go, so you can't have it you can't have it blocked underneath, okay? Uh, but yeah, definitely, if you don't have a press and you don't feel comfortable, you know. Uh, you don't feel comfortable doing it without a press. Uh, I would just buy the whole jack shaft. <laughs> so we'll say, okay. But, but that being said, um, the good thing if you replace the bearings yourself, you can replace them with better bearings. Okay, um, and that's that's what I'm hoping these Timken bear bearings are. I hope these are better than the this one right here. <laughs> this one that's like exploded right here. All right. So, um, so yeah. So that, those are some final notes right there. If you don't have a press. You don't even need a 20 ton press. I'm pretty sure you can do use a smaller press, you know, or you can take it to like auto shop that does that might that does bearings and stuff that has a bearing press. Um, you can do that, okay? And they'll probably do a better job than me. So, <laughs> so what I, I you know I bought this press and I you know I'm glad I got a chance to use it. <laughs> okay, yeah. If you don't have access to a press, I don't recommend doing this. Okay, <laughs> um, uh, just buy the whole jack shaft. Uh, but but like. And then, and then there's yeah there's the uh, there's a three bearing or the four bearing, most likely I think if you have a Soron X, the X bike or like a really new Soron, you probably got the one with the four bearing uh, jack shaft. Okay, mine is pretty old. I think this is circa 2018 Light B right here. So this one had the three bearing. All right. So uh, so yeah. Um, so I the, but the good thing is the where I bought it from on Amazon. It only they sold it in a pack of four, so I was like, oh yeah, okay, we'll have extra bearing. No, that's okay, fine, whatever. Uh, but it turns out like it's a good thing I bought the pack of four because I needed exactly four for the four bearing ones. So, <laughs> so that worked out really good. Okay, um, yeah. So, so yeah, if you don't have a press, I don't recommend doing this. Okay, um, if but but you you could do it if you could do it. Uh, please uh, please make a video and then uh, send a link to me and I'll watch it. I'll watch you do it <laughs> But I think you could do it with the blind hole bearing puller Okay, and then you could use it uh, you could use a vise or anvil or something and drive the bearings in okay, so That that's one way to do it, but definitely the press is the way to go. Okay um, That's that's what it's designed to do man press bearings in and out of stuff, you know, and it is pressed in there Oh, okay another thing. Okay. Yeah, if you did if you don't have a press one thing I would suggest is uh, is putting the um, putting the jack shaft in the oven. Okay, put the jack shaft in the oven, heat it up to like more than 200 degrees, maybe like 250 or something, um, and then and then that will make the jack shaft expand. Make sure there's no seals, no, no rubber stuff on it. It's probably gonna smoke, and it's probably gonna you know, it's probably gonna because you, there's probably grease in it, you know, and oil. Um, it's probably gonna smoke and it's gonna make your your oven like not not good <laughs> okay is what I say I have a little toaster oven I would say use a little toaster oven okay um, I I would say don't don't do don't use a torch okay don't use a torch because it it might heat it unevenly okay but you could try the torch approach also so what that does if you put it in an oven it expands it okay when things get hot they expand then you put the bearings in the freezer and they and they contract okay and then and then that lets you just press push the bearings in like i i remember one of the bearings they just slid right in i think it's the the primary drive side the bearing just slid right in okay sometimes they don't sometimes they come in crooked but if you heat if you heat the jack shaft up in the oven um, and then you freeze the bearings. The the bearings may just slip right in. Okay, I'm not gonna tell you 100% that it'll, that'll happen, <laughs> but but like most of the time it will. It'll be easier. And if you if it doesn't want to go in, you can just drive it in with a socket and a hammer. All right, and then and then you should be able to get it in. Okay, is what I'm gonna suggest. But removing the bearings is harder than installing them. Is what I wanna say. 
All right, that's that is my suggestion. If you don't feel comfortable doing this and you don't have the tools to do it, um, and and the skills, uh, just buy a new Jack Chef. <laughs> All right, here's we go.